Does that make sense? To be honest, not really, yeah. So, so first of all, you got to tell the device what is bad. Yes. And if it sees something bad, it will then take the configure policy action, right. which is alert, block, sync. Yes. So how do I tell the firewall what's bad? So what we used to do in the past was, um, as part of, of the antivirus update, we provided the firewall with a list of 100,000 known bad domains. OK. And essentially said, hey, look for these. And if you see these, take the configure policy action. Mm. However, um, we outgrew that feature a long time ago. Um, and there's a couple of other problems with that. Like if you provide a static list to a firewall, first you have to deal with capacity issues. Yeah. How, how big can that list be that you put in the firewall? Second, you deal with the problem of how do customers update this list? And how up to date is that information really? And is it still effective? Right. A lot of malware domains we see are up for like a couple of hours. And yeah, that's it. Right. right? Yeah. So if you download lists on a daily basis, it doesn't do anything for you. Right. And then, of course, there's some um, what do we do about unknown uh, command and control domains? Can we detect those? And um, what do we do about the means that adversaries use to still get around all of that? Like DNS tunneling or data DNS tunneling, filtration. Um, domain generation algorithms, yeah. right? Um, DGA is a really interesting topic. Um, this is really like where they automate the whole process of, of standing up new domains that we don't know yet, so that now we can still connect. DNS tunneling is a is an interesting one. That's the abuse of the DNS protocol to exfiltrate and infiltrate data. Right. Um, and there's Linux packages and Windows packages like iodine that do that yeah. very easily. From an engineering perspective, it's it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's obviously not much. Right. <laughs> yeah. So are these the kind of things that the uh, the new service would be able to yes. prevent? Yeah. So the new service essentially is a purely cloud based approach, um, very much like PandyB. Oh. So like so, URL filtering only for same concept. Yeah, same concept. Yes. Okay. Um, same concept though. The requirements are slightly different because from a latency perspective, we have to be very sensitive to, you know, keeping latency low, of course, because if you slow down DNS, you slow down everything. So got to make sure we don't slow things down, right? So user experience is still great. Um, but in general, very much like that. Okay. So the firewall sees a request, lets it go through. We reach out to the cloud and we're like, what do we know about this so we can shut it down? Right? Nice.